Hello everyone. I've just received my um, new bobbins that I'm going to put on on my bike because um, I've bought a paddock stand and in order to have the paddock stand I've got to put these bobbins on somehow. So let's crack on with this and let's see how it goes. So we've got these plates, two of these plates, I assume these are the bobbins, and the nuts and bolts, and RG, yeah, don't need that. Right then, let's figure this out, how are we to do this? Okay, so um, what I've got to do is undo this nut, which I've undone, giving it a little uh, smack. Um, so it's going to have to go. The bolt has to come go right through out on the other side. So let's do that for a second. Right, I've given it a smack. Well, I'm going to hit this with a hammer and push it out the other side. Okay, one second. Okay, so I've pushed the bolt through the other side, and that's what's going to happen. And the same, once I put, take it right out, the only thing is, I'm a bit concerned the wheel's going to come off. Okay. We'll have to sort that out in a minute. Right, so I've hammered it in, and as you can see, <coughs> the bolt is coming out on this side. So it should be okay if I leave this uh, the, uh, tube in there. The wheel won't come off anyway. So it should be all good to go. Okay, let's see what happens. Right then, it's coming out. So now, just got to make sure the washer doesn't fall off from the other side. Hang on. Right then, um, now I don't know if it's right or wrong, some people may slate me if they want to or not, but I've put a bit of copper grease around the pipe, so for future reference, um, if I should I need to take it out again or change the tyre, this should come out a lot easier as the, as the bike gets older. So I would put it on, it's never, never done me any wrong. Right, so let's put the plate on and put it all back together. As you can see, it takes a lot of hammering to go back in. Well, let's see what happens on the other side. I've got to line it up. Right. I've got it in there. Don't do the same mistake that I've just done, like an idiot. So when you're putting the new bracket in for the bobbin, forget about this, that doesn't go with it anymore. That's just, there's no space otherwise. And you do need two people to align the shaft to go back in, because one person can't do it on their own. But anyway, I've got it in. So now I'm gonna put the bobbin in, and then I'm gonna readjust the chain, and then wash, the, wash and clean the chain afterwards. Right, let's see. Okay, the bobbin is going in now. Okay. 
again I've put copper grease on the edge of the thread of the of this bolt. Right, I'll tighten that properly in a minute and I'll do the other side and we're all good to go. So now I'm just gonna assemble the paddock stand and we'll go from there. Okay, so I have to say it's extremely light. This is unbelievable. So it's a very nice and light aluminium. And we've got the parts and let's go. Right then, so six bolts, one, two, three on each side, nut and bolt, tighten them up. You've got an Allen key in here, so you can adjust it. And sorry, it's gonna be inside I think. And we'll just give it a little loose, I mean a little tightness and then we'll adjust it. That's according to right. Let's jack it up. Wow, I have to say, it's so easy to jack it up. It was so light, no strain whatsoever. Not like the old um, Universal ones, they were so difficult. But this is amazing. It's made my life a lot easier. And not only that, but you can actually turn the whole wheel on this one. And on the old Universal one, you used to get stuck on, on the sprocket or somewhere, or um, on the disc. But this is brilliant, it's worth it. I'm gonna enjoy doing my chain and uh, wash, wash the chain, adjust the chain, so this will be easy now. Um, right, it's a cup of tea time and then I'll crack on. So, I've put the chain lube on everywhere. <coughs> now I'm gonna give it a good old scrub. Let's see how it goes from there. It's amazing how dirty the bloody chain gets. Okay, I've just given it a good um, chain lube clean. I'll use the whole can up. I've given it a good brush. That's the best I can get out of it. But I let it dry now, and um, I'll just put the final. Um, grease up chain of lube. Yep, yeah, brilliant. I think the stand is absolutely fantastic. Highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.